What's going on guys welcome back today we are in Fort Worth Texas at the Legacy Home Show and we're getting ready to walk through one of their beautiful double wides so let me get you outside and I'll tell you all about it. Alrighty so I mean look at this a beautiful home I love the exterior of it it's like a, a nice cream color on the outside and then you got this nice brown trim going all the way around it and then they even incorporated some of this gray shake siding right here around the front door which is super super cool looking I think. Now this is one of the bigger ones here, it is a four bedroom, two bath. It's approximately 1,622 square feet. And man, we actually started out in this home the other day uh, doing some of our workshops with some of the dealers in the area. This has been a great trip, really stepping outside of our comfort zones. Uh, Jen did get to come down here with me and uh, we just met some really cool people. But as far as this home goes, if you do want any more information on it or legacy housing, you can find that information in the description, as well as over at timothyplivingston.com where you can search this floor plan, as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country because we've gone to a whole bunch of states. But you can get over there and uh, even if we've toured the home in a different state than you are actually located, if you search by your state and something populates, then it is available in your area. So. Uh, coming around to the back over here, bunch of windows, a lot of stuff happening. Uh, you do have a back door. You've got a great big window right here coming out of the living room and uh, several other windows coming out of the other bedrooms. And then coming around to the far side, you've got some more of this beautiful cream color. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop back over to this fence real quick. We'll get through the home and then at the end of the video, I will make sure to give you some pricing because Y'all are gonna love the prices on all these homes. Stepping inside, this is the view that you were greeted with. It is a nice open floor plan. You got the living room right here in the kitchen. Let me go ahead and turn you around real quick, let you check out the front entryway before we get too far along inside of this home. This is your front door right here and that opens up into some beautiful vinyl floors which run all the way up throughout the home. Which gives you an opportunity to put down some decorative carpets like here in this living room. So that's super nice. Get you over here in the corner. Now, as we're walking through this home, let me know what you're going to be doing with everything, where you're putting things. I know they're already decorated, but maybe you have uh, some different style preferences. Would love to hear about them down in the comments. You do have those great big windows over there. Got a big spot for your TV. And then, yep, that's the master bedroom. We're going to get to that in just a minute. If I don't trip and fall <laughs> but from the living room you come into your dining room area so you do have plenty of space to put a dining room table if you wanted to turn this table uh, to run horizontally across the home you could do that and then you got some space for some hutches or some buffet style tables over there back behind it and then before we get into the kitchen area whoop, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and get in here to the utility room real quick so you do have your furnace right here, right around the corner, and then you do have the back door. So you put yourself a little porch out there if you wanted to, and then you have uh, washer dryer hookups and a nice little shelf here in the laundry room. Now into this kitchen. I love this island right here. Now, some of the homes we've been walking through, they've had uh, these raised bars, but they've been a little bit more subtle than this one. This one uh, stands up pretty tall, but I love the wood. On the front of it I like the shelving right here too I think that looks really sharp you do have plenty of room for several seats and then on this side it drops down into the sink area with a little bit of counter space on either side I like it uh, you know I tend to think of myself as like a anti-social person but when the times arise that uh, people do come over to the house I do enjoy hanging out with them if you know what I mean so you do have a dishwasher over here and a nice cabinet. Let's go ahead and open one up. A little corner one, which is pretty neat. And then on the opposite side from this uh, island, let's get over here so you can see it. You do have a little media desk right here. So you can put yourself your laptop, uh, your desktop computer, a little rolling chair if you wanted to, or a fun little decorative bench. And then you get into all of your other counter surfaces. So you got your built-in microwave sitting right over the top of your stove. Open up some of these. I like these little pools. I like how they turn like that. A little twisty. And you got plenty of lowers down here too. Let's open up this one. Get a little 
little peek inside of the bottom ones, but plenty of counter space. I think that's really nice. Uh, as far as up above the cabinets, you got a little bit of room up there to do some decorating if you wanted to. And then this great big pantry area right here, you do have some shelves. And then at the bottom, which is pretty unique, uh, you can put your trash can down there or your dog food or whatever the case it may be. And then coming around, working our way back down to the secondary bedrooms, uh, it opens up into this common area uh, where you do have another little media desk over here. As you can see the outlet and this one already has a chair and then on the back side of the home you do have one bedroom as well as the first full bathroom so this is actually the first home that we've come to that has had a double vanity so that is pretty neat but with four bedrooms back here i mean a double vanity you need it so you got double medicine cabinet right here one opens up one way the other one opens up the other way plenty of cabinets down on the bottom of the vanity then you've got your toilet as well as your shower and tub combo you got the removable shower head up there plenty of little shelves in here too so that's pretty neat and then across the hall sitting on the front side of the home you come to your first bedroom you've got a big old window in here these rooms for four bedrooms inside of a manufactured home these bedrooms are huge very big. We just came out of one just a little bit ago. It was a little bit smaller. Uh, I'd probably personally turn that one into an office. You know what I mean? Uh, but it had another bigger bedroom within it. But this one is, it's doing it up in here. So it is a little dark back there, but those shelves, there's two of them and they run pretty far in both directions. And then coming around the corner, Again, this bedroom, almost the same size. It also sits up on the front of the home. And I just noticed this too, because I opened up the closet door. So a lot of uh, the homes that we've been walking through here at Legacy, some of them have these open closet concepts. Uh, I appreciate seeing these doors right here. I think that is super nice. And especially, y'all, I'm telling you, wait until you see the prices ridiculous me and Jen were actually quite shocked we we're like holy cow we haven't seen anything like that in a while so pretty interesting now this is the third bedroom uh, this one sits on the back side of the home I think all of them are the same size like it's crazy you could definitely get a full-size bed in here um, maybe a queen if you wanted to you probably have a little less room with a queen but definitely get some full-size beds in here and then into its closet So it's crazy. And then on the back side, or on the opposite side of the home, through the living room, you do come to the master bedroom. And this thing is another big size. It does sit up on the front side of the home. Got a big old window right here and plenty of space. They really did a fantastic job of decorating these homes too. I thought they, I think uh, they've all looked really good. Especially, you know, the smaller bedrooms don't have any furniture or anything in them. But the things that uh, do have furniture, I think it was pretty neat looking. Very well decorated. And then into the master closet. This thing's a nice big walk-in right here. Got a little storage up here. I think this, uh, I don't know what this goes to. I forget what, I already forgot what was on the back side of it. But at least you got some room to put some stuff up above it. And then coming around the corner... You transition into the ensuite, and again, another nice double vanity in here. Great big linen closet. So, plenty of room to put all of your towels and stuff, and then you got a lot of extra space down on the bottom as well. And it doesn't quite go all the way up to the ceiling, so you got a little space up there. But again, the double vanities, which are super nice. And then, again, just like in the uh, first full bathroom you do have the double medicine cabinet so that's pretty cool y'all bear with me there's a lot going on in this bathroom uh, so across from the vanity what is this oh it's the water closet so you do have the toilet tucked away nicely back here which is pretty nice you got a wall over here 
we put some shelves or something up over the toilet that would look pretty cool and then past that you come to your standalone shower Let's see if we can open up the door you got a removable shower head over here then all the way at the back of the bathroom just like your own little sanctuary back here you do have a great big soaking tub a little shelf area over here and then you also have your faucets in this corner which is nice because now you don't have to reach over it i've seen a lot where you have to reach over them but let me know what you think about this home down in the comments if you want any more information on this model or legacy housing i'll leave that information for you in the description as well as over at timothyplivingston.com where you can search this floor plan as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country and you can see if they are built in your area as far as the price for this home it is shown at approximately one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. just keep in mind that that price may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours uh, prices can and do change for a whole wide variety of reasons so just keep that in mind uh, with that being said though my name is timothy thank you so much for hanging out and i will see your beautiful face in the next one